All right, thank you for clicking on that little square box on your cellular device. All right, to get into this glitch, there are a few requirements. You are going to need to own a facility. It does not matter which facility. You are also going to need to own a CEO garage, both of which are going to need to be filled with cars. You also need to own the Avenger with the vehicle workshop. Inside of your facility, you need to have the car that you wish to duplicate. In most cases, it's going to be a Future Shock ISSI. You will also need to have some cars that you don't mind losing, such as allergies. Now these vehicles can be stored in any garage, but to make things easier, we're just going to go ahead and put those in the facility. Now let's go ahead and get into this glitch. Alrighty, now you have the requirements out of the way, you have the car you wish to duplicate, and some allergies in your facility, you're ready to go. Now you will notice I'm using custom license plates. If for whatever reason you do not have them at this moment in time, don't fret because we will take care of that for you. So to get things started, you want to just go ahead and hop into the car you wish to duplicate, and you're going to press left on the D-pad to enter that there Avenger. Now once you enter the Avenger, you're going to make one change on the vehicle. You're then going to back out and hit exit Avenger. Sometimes this part can take some time, so we're going to go ahead and fast forward for you. Once you're outside, it's going to make you exit the vehicle. You're going to just hop back into your vehicle and you're going to hit the acceleration button to pull the vehicle outside of the facility. Once you're outside of your facility, you're just going to pull up in your interactive menu, return your vehicle back to storage, call up your mechanic and request any personal vehicle that is not from your facility or CEO garage. It does not matter what vehicle it is, as for you will not be losing this vehicle. Now once that vehicle arrives, you just want to go ahead and pull it back into your facility. You'll get the storage full alert, you can just go ahead and accept that alert. Now at this time, you can either swap it out with a vehicle, or you can just hit deny and the vehicle will go back to where it was stored. Now you just want to go ahead and make your way up to the vehicle that you are duplicating, and you're going to press left on the D-pad. This is going to pull it back into the Avenger. If you do this correctly, which shouldn't be hard at this point, you're going to be pulled into the Avenger without a vehicle. Make your way up to the cockpit. Wait here for about 2-3 to three seconds, because if you do this too fast, it will pull you inside of the cockpit. At this point, it should fade black and come back in, and you'll just be standing there. This is perfect. Now, after a few seconds of standing here with no escape, you will be pulled back out into your facility. Once you're in your facility, you can either run over to the box on the wall, and exit or you just wait a few more seconds and it'll pull you outside. Now that you're outside you want to go ahead and pull open your phone, call your mechanic and request the personal vehicle that you do not mind losing. Like I said earlier guys it makes it easier if you put them in your facility but it really doesn't matter where they're at at this point. Once it arrives on the map you're just going to go ahead and make your way over to your CEO garage. You can do this by job teleportation or by calling in a buzzer. Just do not call in any other personal vehicle. However you arrive at your CEO garage, once you're there, there are two different methods you can do. You can steal the civilian streetcar, pull it up to the garage, accept the storage full alert, and sometimes you'll get lucky and it'll glitch out and take you to the facility. Other times, you'll get stuck on a screen much like this where you either have to accept it or deny it. Either way, it doesn't take you back to your facility. Now, the second method. So we just left our facility and made our way back to our CEO building. All you're going to do is walk up to the front door, enter your office, and go to the elevator. Once you're at the elevator, you're going to go to the office garage. Now, once you select the option to enter the garage, it will almost instantly glitch you back into the facility. This is the most recommended and consistent way to hit this glitch guys. Whichever method you decide to use, whichever one you find to be easier, that's fine as long as it takes you back to your facility all glitched out. Once you're there, you just want to make your way back to the vehicle that you're duplicating. You're going to go ahead and hop into the vehicle and this time you're going to press right on the d-pad. Again that's going to be right on the d-pad. You're going to make one change to the vehicle, thus duplicating the vehicle. Now when I pan over to the left, you will see that there is a second Future Shock ISSI, but it will have the same license plate. If this does not happen, and you see the car that you duplicated over, just hop back into the vehicle, press left on the D-pad to enter the Avenger, making one change. 
You are going to then exit the Avenger and you should see your duplicate copy of the vehicle sitting right there in the facility with you. This is also why I recommend it that you put them here with you so you can see this change taking place. Now that you have your duplicate copy of the vehicle, if you're using custom license plates, you're good to go. If you're not using custom license plates, you want to repeat this glitch over. Completely over, do the exact same glitch, but instead of getting in the Future Shock ISI, you're going to get in the Allergy this time. So at the beginning, when you're glitching everything out with the ISI, you want to do that with the Allergy. So if you're still listening to this point in the video, then you probably don't have the custom license plates. Another tip to go along with that, once you clean your dupe and you have the license plates on the duplicate copy that you want, you want to override the vehicle that you took the plate off of. So if you're using one of the allergies in the facility, then you want to take and buy another allergy and place it over top of that one. Okay, now that you have the duplicated copy of the vehicle inside of your facility, you need to run down and make sure to change the vehicles around. Just swap it around one or two spaces and then force a save. You have to force a save and make sure that little gold circle pops up in the bottom right hand corner. A lot of you are saying that the vehicle isn't there when you go back on or when you switch lobbies. That's because you're not forcing the save or waiting for the save to pop up. But if you do all of this correctly, the vehicle will be there. I promise you, whenever you want to go sell it, it'll still be there. I hope this video helped you guys out in some way. If it did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.